G'day guys, today I want to talk about one of the best purchases I've made of 2019. The Adventure Travel Backpack made by Atlas. It's the Athlete Series, it's feature packed, it is jam packed, it is so goddamn good and I'm going to explain why, so stick around. Guys and girls, thank you for joining me today. It is so good to see your smiling, rosy faces today. On this channel, we do plenty of tips, tricks, reviews on all things camera related. But mainly, we love to get out in places like this and photograph the epic vistas and epic landscapes this incredible world has to offer. So if that sort of stuff interests you, pop down below, subscribe for future content. But today, I want to do a full review on the Atlas Athlete Series backpack. I am lucky enough to own this for the last eight weeks, but mainly I went to Egypt for four weeks. So if you haven't watched that sort of stuff, it's up there. But this backpack, I traveled with just this 40 liter backpack for one month. Camera gear, film gear, and clothes. Can you believe it? Well, you bloody well should because this backpack is so good. So first of all, I have to say, it doesn't look like a camera backpack, which is one thing that really advertised me when I wanted to do that. So a bit about me, I love travel and adventure series type of photography. So being in the travel industry and taking photographs, obviously people look at you and they know you have money inside that backpack. But with this, it, it looks like an adventure gear. It looks like I have smelly clothes in it. No one wants to steal smelly clothes and hiking boots. So that was one thing that advertised towards me buying this backpack a lot. Secondly, was it was 40 liters. It's travel on compatible. So from the outside, you can see down the side here, it's got a little zip, which means you can put your tripod legs down there, which is absolutely fantastic. But for me, I don't actually use it because I love running gun style of photography. So I like to whip the tripod out whenever I can. A couple of things, it has got a huge pocket on top, which I keep passports, travel documents, wallet, keys, all that sort of jargon we don't care about on top because it's very easily accessible. But what you can do with these bits is you can intertwine them so no one can actually break in, which is really, really cool. It's similar to the Osprey series, but it's actually like a travel safe mechanism. Small bit up the top, has got a key compartment. I tried to hide not much in there because it is quite easily accessible. Flip the bad boy over. What another zip, another hideable zip in here. I normally keep just stuff like food in there because I eat a lot. But on the outside again, another zip here. It is zipped packed. Is that even a word? Zip, zip-tastic. And then a mesh here, which is meant to hold helmets because it is an adventure series type. So both sides has the mesh, so one side I keep tripod, other side I keep water bottle. You can also see, like a traditional everyday hiking backpack, it is top loading. So it has got inside here, which is pretty hard to show you, a little compartment for your laptop. But for stuff like here, I was able to carry five t-shirts, five pairs of underwear, three socks, two trousers, one jumper, one jacket, um, what am I missing? That's pretty much it. One pair of flip-flops, thongs, journals, wherever you're from, in this top compartment, just in here. I was able to travel one month with all my gear in there. This was probably the biggest draw card to what I wanted. So I said I'm a travel filmmaker and photographer. So safety is paramount to me, like safety camera gear. They're like highest echelon possible. It is backloading. So two good things about that. When it's on your back, no one can steal pretty much anything. But secondly, if it's snow, sand, dirt, whatever, it's wet, you put it on the ground and your camera gear will not get destroyed. That is really good to me. I can chuck this in the wash. I cannot chuck my camera gear. So I owned a camera backpack two years ago that was backloading because of that feature pack. But you know what happened? It would always do this and fall forward. It was so frustrating. And I had someone for a workshop here that was so keen on this because of this fact. Watch. 
it opens up fully. Guys, I know that might not seem like much to you, but it's such a big factor. Because what you can do now is you can rest camera gear stuff on here also. It's so much easier, especially when stuff like this is sand, wet, dirt. Your camera gear is protected. That is so crucial. Inside of the compartment itself, it can hold so much gear. So I've got four lenses, one camera in there at the moment. But the best part about this is I said it was top loading, but this part here, I can just push that down and it becomes an extra space for like drones. The X-H1 that I'm filming on now plus the 16, uh, 16 mil. Pop it back out and it's more top loading compartment. So for me, that was one great feature that I wanted to do. If I'm going on a photography trip, bam. If I'm going on a trip like Egypt, bam also. It is so, so easy. But secondly, the padding, the padding inside this is so much thicker compared to anything else that I've owned, but this is not removable. You can remove all the padding inside of it, so it can just be one big compartment. So it can just literally be an adventure backpack with no camera gear, which is another really cool feature. Up here, I keep batteries when I travel, so usually all AAA rechargeable batteries. In here, Fuji batteries, because Fuji sucks with batteries, unfortunately. This here, I wasn't super interested in this when I first got it. I actually wanted another zip below, but now I have this, it's, you know, once it's like anything, once you get used to using it, it's good, it holds my filter, uh, ring adapters, actual filters, all that sort of stuff. It's really, really good that way. So you can probably notice so many zips on the front, so many zips on the back, compartments in the back, and very, very spacious around. Any camera backpack that I've ever owned is just uncomfortable to carry all day, every day. But this backpack being similar to an outdoor backpack, it changes the game completely. These padding bits are like an Osprey backpack. And if you've ever owned an Osprey backpack, they are worth every single of their penny, euro, pound, bloody, whatever currency you're paying in because they are so comfortable. This is not as comfortable, but it is so close to being just as comfortable. Then on the side of it again, it's got these cool contraptments that fold out that are named Atlas and you can put all stuff in here. So as I said before, if it's muddy on the ground, whatever, especially for me being mirrorless, I can put a lens in there. I can put my 55 to 200 in there and carry it around just in case I want to swap lenses over. Batteries, whatever it may be, can go inside there and they're on both sides. You don't want this, take it fully out. It's just Velcro on the inside and you can just have a backpack. Nowhere near as comfortable, but it's very, very good. Also on the front little bit here, you're thinking, oh shit, it's about to rain, it's about to snow. Doesn't matter. It's got an attached, really photogenic Atlas waterproof casing. Really, really good. So if you ever need it, you don't even know where it is sometimes, it's right in there. There was two big things that I was concerned about when I first sort of got into using this before I went to Egypt. And then when I come back from Egypt, I was really like, okay, you know, that is 100% correct. The first one was price, but I want to start on the second one. The second one was, this isn't removable. You know, you can buy an F-stop backpack, which is probably the biggest competitor for this. You can remove it. But you know what I noticed when I was in Egypt? Because it's an internal unit that's built in, not like F-stop where you can take it in and out, to carry this is so much more comfortable because there's less moving parts. And that is why it sets itself away from the F-stop. Yes, with the F-stop, it's really cool because you can just take it out and you can check this in with your luggage. Just carry on, little F-stop. But you know what, this fits in carry-on. It's very lightweight, it's very comfortable, but it is so much more sturdy. I can carry camera gear in here and I trust it so much more with less moving parts and it's thicker padding. So when I got back from Egypt, I was like, you know what, Atlas, you have hit the nail on the head. That is a fantastic thing. And the second one was the price, $400. 400 US dollars this is, this backpack. Now I know before you just click off or minimize this tab, wait, let me explain to you. When I first bought this, I was like, click now, order. I was super skeptical to buy this. I heard it was so good. 
Chris Air Walker contacted me and said, Matt, get this backpack. It is the best backpack on the market right now. But Chris, it's so expensive. Now, let me break this down for you. I look at this as two backpacks in one. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell does that mean? It's a camera backpack and an adventure travel backpack. You buy an Osprey, as I said, you buy a pack like this, like an Osprey, but you know what Osprey doesn't do? Carry camera gear. You buy a good quality camera backpack, not like this, just the camera backpack. It's gonna cost you over 100 euros, easily in low pro. It looks like a camera backpack, so it looks like you wanna steal it. Then you have to add on that it's not comfortable. No camera backpack is this comfortable. So when you equate 40 liters, it's comfortable, it holds your camera gear, it's safe as bloody houses, it's not that expensive. So guys, there you have it. That is my full review on the best backpack on the market right now. It is aimed at travel filmmakers, travel photographers, adventurers, people that just need a little bit of extra room in their camera bag. 40 litres or the bigger one is 70 litres. Guys, I cannot, I cannot stress how much I endorse this product. I paid for it, I've used it, I know how good it is. I just want you guys to realise you can go through one more backpack, 10 more backpacks, but this is the one for you and your needs. The links are in the description below for both backpacks. Please go and check them out. If you have any questions, contact Atlas. They were very good when I wanted to get my questions asked before I purchased it to clarify in my head because it's so expensive. Full review, cannot endorse this product enough. That is enough stuff from me today talking about how good this product is. If you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, share down below for future content. I will see you guys next week on the next one. That is me done today reviewing the Atlas series athlete backpack. Ciao. Today in 2019, the Atlas, Atlas, it's so god get goddamn good. Trev, travel, travel.